What's the response deadline for this contract? <laughs> That's what we're talking about today. Welcome to the Utah Real Estate Show podcast, the show where two agents and a lender teach real estate best practices by talking through mistakes we've seen and made. The contract has to be fully signed everywhere where it needs to be signed. Like by, by both parties. By, by any party that's on that contract. Okay. okay. So that's the first thing. Okay. So if it's multiple people that are buying this property, every single one of them. And all the addendum. And two, it has to be communicated. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Utah Real Estate Show. I'm Tyler Kazair, Utah Real Estate Agent. Jason Christiansen, Mortgage Lender. Eric West, Utah Real Estate Agent. And today we're talking about the most important word in real estate, and that is acceptance. Isn't that like the most important word in relationships and yes, life? Yes, all That's relationships. That's what a real estate purchase contract is. I'm bringing people together one acceptance at a time. I accept you guys. Yes. So in section 23 of the Utah Real Estate Purchase Contract, also known as the REPSI, we encounter this phrase called acceptance. And what does it mean to accept? Now, we kind of teased it in the opening. You hear this- It's like the number one thing that happens. Yeah, you hear it all the time. What's the response deadline? Well, no, it's, what's, yeah, they didn't, it's happening right now. Why didn't they sign by then? That means we're done, right? No, it's just acceptance deadline. Yes. That's not response deadline. There is no such response. thing as a response. There is only an acceptance deadline. And so to get to be very explicit, what does Whoa. it mean to accept a contract? What are the what do we have to do in order to accept the you contract? You have to have two things. The contract has to be fully signed everywhere where it needs to be signed. Executed. By, by both parties. By by any party that is on that contract. Okay. okay. So that's the first thing. Okay. So if it's multiple people that are buying this property, every single one of them I've needs got a to sign it. And all the addenda. Yeah, that True. contract. Yes. So everything on that contract. All the pieces of the contract, yep. including any addenda, anything. Yep. That, are, that are specified in the contract. So this Correct. one says, this is your complete yep. contract. So if there's an FHA addenda in here and you say, we're not signing that, we'll sign the rest of it. Yeah, you, you can. That's a rabbit rabbit hole. hole. (laughs) Uh, So everything signed that needs to be signed by all parties. And two, has to be communicated. Okay, and that's a tricky one. Mm -hmm. So everything else, um, section 18 says this has to be in writing. Yeah, all all notices have to be in writing. Besides? Except for, as provided in section 23, 23. which is acceptance, it doesn't have to be communicated. So what does that, so what does that mean? So I can call and say, hey Tyler, we're accepting your contract. We're We're under contract. We're we're under contract. Okay, And you don't have a signed copy in your email? That's what I was gonna say. So long as you have everything signed, as we discussed. But it may not be delivered to you yet. Right, it might not be in my possession, but as long as everything is signed, before the acceptance deadline. Yep. And then the other side uh, picks up the phone and they call me and they go, hey, we've accepted your contract. I'm sending it over now, but I just want to communicate it to well, you. Well, and I think That's part exactly. of that is, is one, just like our last video where we are talking about electronic signatures, everybody's <laughs> used to that. Like, well, why is this even an issue? There's still places in Utah that don't have internet. So mm-hmm. it may not be able to actually Transmit. To, it may have to be drove there to dropped off or mailed or FedExed overnighted. So it's signed, it's there, we've communicated it. You mm. just don't have the physical copy in your hand yet. Yeah. So, Which will be important. But you know, that key point, what if they don't have it signed? What if the intent of the parties is to sign it by the acceptance deadline, but they don't actually sign it by the acceptance deadline. They just tell the real estate agent signatures. Hey, go ahead and uh, go ahead and accept it. Just tell them we accepted it. Technically, that's not valid. Nope. Because they haven't signed the real estate purchase contract. They have to have signed it, and the communication portion can be pick up the phone and, or send a text or whatever. Well, it is. and this We've is accepted. where if you, to, to the other side of that, your acceptance deadline is say 5 p.m. on a Tuesday night, and they sign it at 5.01, communicate, hey, we're under contract, we signed it, and it's been delivered to you, are we under contract? Technically, no, no. because those those terms lapsed at terms five o'clock. At five o'clock, and it's not a response; it's an acceptance, an acceptance. deadline. So now, at that point, like I said, we can go into a whole nother video about it, and it, it can be. It's at the choice of 
the seller at that point or the other receiving it, it's party. the receiving party. That's to say yes or no, we're going to move forward with this or not, but it's technically not an it, enforceable. At that point, it's a counteroffer. Uh, yeah. Because the other party who receives it, at that point, they'd have to um, agree. They'd have to sign it and say, yes, we agree to these terms. And by the way, we're going to extend the acceptance deadline to yeah. this timeline. That's yeah. the right way. If you miss your acceptance deadline, that's the right way to extend your acceptance deadline. Yeah. There are other ways that we see and they're not the right way. No. That's the right way to do it. So what did we learn? Well, my key takeaway is there's no such thing as response deadline. It's important. The response can be not in writing. Remember that it has to be signed and communicated, and that is a valid contract. So have you guys accepted and communicated to us that you've subscribed to this channel and podcast by 5 p.m.? Mountain time. Mountain time, yes. Standard or daylight? Hmm. It's going away anyway. Yes. If you want to get in touch with us, shoot us a text at 801-228-7687. Make sure you mention the show. You can email us at the Utah Real Estate Show at gmail.com. You can watch this show on YouTube and you can listen on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. If you learned something or if you really love this show, give us a like on YouTube and drop a rating on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen. The Utah Real Estate Show is a production of Hive Collective at Presidio Real Estate with support from Security Home Mortgage. The NMLS number for Security Home Mortgage is 178787. The NMLS number for Jason Christiansen is 240472, Equal Housing Lender. Not only is this not legal or investment advice, but you should definitely talk to a pro before you make any real estate decision. Every situation is different and should be considered in context. Copyright Jason Christiansen, Eric Wist, and Tyler Kazair. All rights reserved. Talk to you next week. Remember, it's important. Something. Remember. (laughs) Do it again. I liked that. I liked that. Just leave it. Fine, leave it.